Hi there, Miranda Alt here with Keller Williams Success Real Estate and the Miranda Alt team with your Monday market update for Monday, March 27th, 2023. Thanks so much for watching. A quick look at your Mark Henry County statistics for the last seven days. We had 105 new listings. We had 136 go under contract. We had 88 closed sales, 53 on the private market, uh, 19 price changes, and only one expired. Now, a couple key numbers to look at on this. Always, how many are being listed versus how many are going under contract. We had only 105 new listings this week. Week. that's pretty low um, and then 136 going under contract once again how many times have I said this more homes going under contract than have been listed inventory issues were still there we had 53 on the private market that's kind of a, that's increased from last week so that's a good sign that we have more more properties coming to market um, only 19 price changes so we are not seeing a whole lot of homes having to do any price reductions in order to get under contract in fact um, we are seeing multiple offers on most properties that are being listed um, as long as they are priced appropriately the first time and we are seeing many many over list price sales so what the heck is going on in the housing market I mean we've got banks failing we've got the stock market is going crazy we've got interest rates uh the feds hiking the prime rate again it is craziness and yet i run into people and they're like but are people still buying houses the answer is yes yes people are still buying houses who's buying a house with a seven percent interest rate well a lot of people why well because they have a motivation to move you know you've got it's always what it's going to come down to why do people move they move because they get a job change they move because they're getting divorced they move because they need they're having another baby and they need a bigger house that's why people move it's not because of interest rates interest rates do not determine when people move i don't know how many times i can say this so yes there are still people moving i got two buyers under contract this past weekend one of them's a cash buyer they don't care what the interest rates are and another one is just a buyer that's motivated. They want to get a new house. They're living in a condo. They want a house. Uh, they're, they're making more money in than they've ever made before. And so business is good. So they're going to buy a house. And, it's, and then they're actually going to keep their other one and use it as a rental. That's a good financial investment. Okay. And were they thrilled about the 7% interest rate that they're going to get? No, not particularly. But they said, mm, we'll refinance. And... It's not going to ever be 3% again. You're probably never going to see 3% again. You're never probably even going to see 4% again in your lifetime. So quit sweating about 3 and 4% what it was last year. Oh, but it's not 3%. Yeah, get over it. It's over, okay? You lost out. If you didn't get 3%, it's done. Stop complaining about it. Um, you know, some statistics to look at. According to ADP, the average income in the United States went up 7% over the last year. That's an important factor to, to consider. So if people are making more money, then they are going to have more disposable income to purchase a home. Now, affordability has become a problem for sure. People cannot afford at 7% what they could afford at 6% or 5% or 3%. That's true. So your money is not going as further. Um, we're running into that. I had another buyer that I took out, a uh, first time home buyer. You know, he's living in mom and dad's house. He wants to get his own house. He's got a good job, wants to make a good investment, but he's having trouble competing with cash buyers and he's having trouble competing with people who can afford more. He's got got a very tight budget and it's very difficult. So it is very difficult for some people. Other people are finding homes and are able to bid over list price and it just depends on everybody's individual situation. Um, interest rates were lower this week. So we are at about 6.75, but we've been hovering between 6.75 and 7.25 for quite a while now. So they're really not changing a whole lot. Uh, feds have a 2% target for the inflation rate. That is a big problem. That is going to be a tough number to hit. We're currently at 6.04%. Um, it was 6.41% last month. So we are making improvements with inflation because of course inflation is what's going to determine when those interest rates do come back down and that will have a huge impact on our housing market. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, and the inflation rate was 7.87% last year. So it's only 6.04% right now. That's a big improvement, but they've got a target of 2%, which is really low. The long-term average is 3.28% for inflation. So getting to 2% is going to be really painful for a lot of us. So the Fed's raising the interest rate again last week. 
uh, are raising the prime rate is not super awesome. Um, the stocks are responding poorly to that, so people are pulling their money out of the stocks, but that means a good thing they are investing in bonds, so that's why the, the uh, interest rates came down a bit because when people are scared of what the stocks are doing, they're gonna pull their money out and they're gonna put them in bonds, which are safer, a safer investment, have a, have a lower yield, um, but they are safer, so that's why the interest rates came down a little bit last week. So we are seeing them hover right about 6.75. Uh, debt to income ratio is of course going to determine what your interest rate is and of course your credit score. So all of those things are variables that come into play to determine what your interest rate is going to be. But we're not seeing buyers shy away from the housing market. Not right now, we will not see them shy away as the spring market comes a little bit further along and as our weather continues to improve, we will see more and more buyers hit the market. And if we don't get more inventory, we're gonna have some serious issues. Prices are gonna to continue to climb and it's gonna be a very difficult time for buyers to get anything under contract. Uh, so, you know, that's what I've got to report today. We still have buyers out there looking. If you are thinking about buying or selling a home, please contact me. I'm always here to answer your questions and try and make sense of all this crazy, these crazy numbers and all these finances that are happening. It is my job to be your economic expert. I do my best. Um, to understand and make sense of some of these numbers and try and help you understand what's going to happen in the coming weeks. We do still uh, have that May 10th date coming up that we are anticipating. We will have a better inflation reading and hopefully that will result in interest rates coming down rapidly. Um, that would be a good thing. So that's a, still all according to Barry Habib. Um, I'm not the expert. He is. Um, that's who I turn to whenever I'm trying to make sense of all this stuff. So Hopefully May 10th, we'll get a good reading and we'll get some interest rates, uh, getting some, giving us some relief and we'll get some of those um, buyers able to uh, make their funds go a little bit further, which would be great. So I'm Miranda Alt with Keller Williams Success Real Estate and Miranda Alt team. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out. I'm at 815-529-0777. Or of course, you can always email me, MirandaAltTeam at gmail.com. Have a great rest of your Monday. Bye.